All right, so like I mentioned, we are talking about World War I, and World War I is mostly going to be made up uh, fighting between European countries, okay, with the exception of the United States and part of this thing down here, which we will get to in just a moment. So we'll get there. I just said that. So before we can do anything else, before we can do anything else, we're going to have to skip around a little bit because we're going to first put all of the countries down so that we know where they are first. Okay? So we are going to do number two, four, six, seven, nine, and ten. First. Those are the first ones that we are going to do. So, number two would probably be difficult. We haven't talked much about this country, and it's actually a combination of two different countries. Uh, we haven't talked about this much this year. However, maybe with educated guesses, we could get it correct. Anybody want to venture a guess for that one? Number two, we're going to we'll do all the countries first. It is, number two. it is not B, it is D. It is D. So D, yes, right here, Austria-Hungary. What's eventually going to happen is this is going to split off into Austria and Hungary. But for right now, we consider it one, one place. Next, number four should be pretty easy. It is Britain. It is A, very good. So a lot of times... A lot of times in history, we talk about Britain, but there's other names that we use for it. What well, other, I'm sorry, United Kingdom, good. Kingdom, England, and then what's the other one? Yeah, you might see Great Britain as we talk about it. Now, to explain what that means, England is just one country, and that would be this thing right here, just where letter A is. However, when we talk about the United Kingdom or Great Britain, we are talking about four countries. We're talking about England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. So when we talk about Britain, the United Kingdom, England, we're talking about the same general place. But England is just one of those countries. However, England rules over all four of those countries, and therefore is called Great Britain or the United Kingdom. Okay? So you'll hear that a lot of times. In, in fact, within one PowerPoint, you might hear about two different of those names. It's the same general place for your, your purposes. All right? So just wanted to talk about that real quick. All right, number six. France. Can we identify where France is? I heard it. Say it louder. France. France is B, yes. France is B, right? Uh, so that is next to which country is this? Spain and Portugal, right? So that's right there in the middle. Uh, Germany. Germany finally unified, right, at this time, about 30 years or so now. All right, so it is C. All right, two more. Should be pretty easy. Uh, number nine, the Ottoman Empire. Now, you might not know what that is right now, but it is F, yes. The Ottoman Empire is going to break up after World War One. We call it what today? What do we call the Ottoman Empire? What made up most of the Ottoman Empire today? Not quite. There's another country in between. Yes. No. Somebody might have said it. No, Persia was also a name for it before the Ottoman Empire. You eat it for Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, oh. So the Ottoman Empire is going to break up after World War I. We'll discuss why in just a moment. And then Russia, this big thing way over here, is le letter E. For our purposes, 
you should have gotten most of those correct. Okay. If you didn't, you have uh, you have a not good basic skills, right? Okay. What's going to happen? We're going to talk about this more in depth uh, tomorrow and into the later in the week. There's going to be two sides in this war, and it's going to envelop a lot of different countries. It's not just one country versus another. It's going to be a lot of different countries. Okay. So what's going to happen is we there's these groups of countries that are formed. They're called alliances. We're going to, like I said, we're going to talk about that tomorrow, but. We have to at least guesstimate right now who's going to be on whose side. Okay, so on the allies' side, who can we guess? Let's start with Britain. Okay, it is Britain, which is a Austria-Hungary. No. Yeah. No. Oh no no no. Who who is England's going to be friends with? Oh, Germany. No. It will be France. And then something that's a little weird, so a country that you would never think would be friends with uh, Britain or France. Germany. No, it is Russia. Very good. So, all right, whatever. So, beginning the war. Be beginning the war. And like I said, we're going to talk about this in depth more tomorrow. But Britain, France, and Russia are going to be on the same team. They are going to be against the central powers together, right? Russia, we think of as our enemy uh, and in sort of recent mind. But you have to remember that at one time they were on the side that we would eventually join on, okay? And we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's skip down to number five and talk about the central powers. Now, obviously, it's the other ones, right? So we have Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. Now, here's an easy way to remember. Here's an easy way to remember the central powers. The reason they're called the central powers is it goes right down the center. It's <laughs> bread. It's all right. Uh, okay. So now there are a couple of rulers that we need to discuss. We'll skip three for now. Number eight, Nicholas the Second. He's going to be a ruler of a pretty large country, but he is going to be the last. He's going to be the last of a dynasty in this country. No, although I can't wait till the last Vladimir Nicholas Cage is dead. I'm sorry. Uh, no, we're we're doing Nicholas. Are we talking about like? So so Nicholas the second is going to be the last czar of what country? Just gave it up. Russia. Of Russia, very good. So Nicholas the second is the last czar, last king in the. Dyn the Russian dynasty. E is the rate. Okay. Um, he, along with his family, will be murdered um, by number 11, Vladimir Lenin, and a group of protesters. We'll, we'll get to that in E or just not. Oh, that's E. E is also 11. So Vladimir Lenin Vladimir, sort of an easy Russian name, hopefully, for you to remember. No, 11 is E. 11 is E, yes. Number 12, Wilhelm II. Now, we talked about Wilhelm I when we talked about the unification of this country. Who can remember? No, it wasn't France. What? Wilhelm. It's not Russia. No? England. Great Britain. No? Germany. <laughs> Germany, the only one that we haven't said yet. Ottoman Empire. C. So number 12 is C. Wilhelm II will be the Kaiser of Germany during the war. And then something's going to happen. In 1917, this country is going to turn communist. But not after a long 
long fight within their own country to make it so. What country is that? Russia. What country becomes communist? Yes, it's going to be Russia. In 1917, Russia leaves the war. They leave World War I because they have a bunch of stuff going on at home. Okay? They leave the war, but then another great country enters the war on the same side. What country would that be? So Russia's going to leave. Remember, it's Great Britain and France. And then what? America. Other country, yes. America is going to join the war when Russia leaves the war. For different reasons, they weren't saying, we don't want to play with Russia, that's not it. But, what, again, we will learn about why that happened in just a few short days. Alright, we have all these answers here, yes? C. C is German. Yeah, no, C is German. Alright, any questions on